the Russian army fears the ATACMS tactical missile system more than any other weapon. Despite the fact that the Russians have begun to redeploy their combat aircraft deep into the territory, it is not too late for the Ukrainian armed forces to strike enemy military airfields with the aforementioned missiles, but this requires permission from the United States. This is reported in the article by The Telegraph. The newspaper notes that the American leadership is trying to balance between two priorities, providing Kiev with the assistance necessary to defeat Russia, but not provoking the Kremlin to launch a nuclear strike. According to the author of the article, a large-scale exchange of nuclear strikes could put an end to human civilization in the form in which it exists now. At the same time, this does not mean that Washington will not give Ukraine more freedom to use American weapons. The White House has already adjusted its policy and allowed GMLRS missiles from HIMARS to hit Russian military facilities in the border areas of the Russian Federation from which Ukrainian settlements are shelled. But the Americans still keep the key weapon, ATA CMS missiles, on a short leash, the article says. These are ultra-precise missiles that move at speeds exceeding Mach 3, making them virtually inaccessible to air defense systems. The effectiveness of these weapons was proven during the Ukrainian army's strikes on targets in the occupied territories of Ukraine. The newspaper believes that the decision on ATA CMS will not prompt Moscow to launch a nuclear response, but will only force it to move its aircraft further away. Recall, in May, the US allowed Ukraine to use HIMARS multiple rocket launchers, GMLRS rockets, and artillery against Russian territory near the Ukrainian border. However, the US and UK still prohibit Ukraine from using US-made ATACMS missiles and British-made Storm Shadow missiles for strikes deeper inside Russia. Despite Russia's withdrawal of aircraft beyond the range of the Storm Shadow and ATACMS missiles provided by the West, a significant number of Russian military facilities remain within the reach of Western weapons. Analysts state that restrictions on Western weapons allow Russian forces to use the shelter space in Russia's deep rear to support military operations against Ukraine. The ISW draws attention to numerous Western media reports indicating that the US government is prohibiting the UK from allowing Ukraine to use Storm Shadow missiles to strike military targets in Russia. The ISW stressed that the redeployment of Russian aircraft from 16 Russian air bases in the ATA CMS area of operation does not diminish the importance of allowing Ukraine to use ATA CMS against hundreds of other Russian military targets. Ukraine is preparing a strike deep into Russian territory and does not intend to coordinate it with Western allies since Ukrainian weapons will be used in the strike. This is reported by the American news agency Associated Press. The publication notes that the main striking force of this action should be the Palyanitsya rocket drone recently developed by Ukrainian engineers. Palyanitsya rocket drone recently developed by Ukrainian engineers. Ukraine says it has a new long-range weapon capable of striking Russian territory without Allied approval, a homegrown missile drone combination that the defense minister promised Monday would be a response to a wave of Russian bombings, the article notes. Ukrainian officials say Palyanitsya was created out of urgent need as Russia has dominated the skies since the war began in February 2022 and Ukraine's Western allies have set conditions for using their long-range missiles in Russia. Recently, a wave of Russian missiles and drones targeted Ukraine's energy infrastructure in the largest such attack in weeks. Protectors of life should have no restrictions on weapons as long as Russia uses all types of its own weapons, President Volodymyr Zelensky said in a telegram message after the attacks. Zelensky confirmed the existence of the Palyanitsya on Saturday and called it a new class of weapons. Defense Minister Rustem Umarov promised on Monday that the weapons would soon be used again in response to the overnight attack on Ukraine. Ukraine is preparing a response. Weapons of its own production. He wrote on his Facebook Facebook page. This once again proves that long-range capabilities and the lifting of restrictions on strikes against enemy military targets are needed to win. Its range is up to 700 kilometers on par with the US-supplied ATA CMS. It showed a map of various airfields, including Russia's Savasleka Air Base, which is within that range, adding that Palyanitsya could reach at least 20 Russian airfields. 
Ukraine has long been developing drones that will be able to quickly reach a target. In January of this year, it was reported that a new jet-powered strike drone had made its first flight in Ukraine. In the aft part of the new drone, an unknown type of power plant was placed, which is likely a jet engine.